Your brain's not broken. It's just addicted. Addicted to quick hits, endless scrolls, and noise. So we will be creating this reel you just saw. All the assets that are used are in the description. So you can download them. So let's get started. First, let's create a color mate. I will check the resolution. I have 1920 by 1080, the YouTube size. And now from here, I will choose the color. So the color will be something like uh, this color mate. Okay, now I will just go to sequence. And first, I will bring this color mate to the timeline. Then go to sequence, sequence setting. And also, I will just make the sequence to the YouTube size as well. Now it's good so our background is ready i will just extend it now just go to reel and i will create this text like this so first we will create your and brain text then we will move forward bring this text layer and type in your now i will just select it go to essential graphics then fill option i will make its color black now go to effects control simply just type in this and i will move this to something like this select this then go to font and i will change its font to choose this arian font and make it bold like this now we want to create this brain so i will just again select text layer and type in b r a and for i oh, will not type a so i will just make this and we will just go first we will edit this so i will just go to fonts i will choose this font then i will just make this layer upward then hold alt and drag this up to make its copy like this now simply just drag it here and type i n uh, like this now select this and make it big make it like this then go here make it big and place it right here scroll down like this now i will just make it more bigger and bring it here then for this i will just copy the 501 and again i will make it also 501 and just simply place it right here something like this here and i will select this your and just make it like this now i will just bring in this this png and i will just select it select this zoom it down and place it like this we'll make it 15 this is looking good now i want to change this color so i will go to effects and search for tint and just apply the tint effect to this one now we need to add fade in animation to all those first we will also create this text it's not broken so i will just show you how you can animate this text and you can just animate it so for this one i will add fade animation so for this i will just get here select opacity and at the start the will be zero and for all these the start opacity will be zero so first we will make all the opacity zero now we will move a few frames just where we want to make it so i will just make it 100 so it will give us this animation like this it's looking cool now we want to create the other one so we can just add opacity and set position keyframe so it moves upward and i will just show you uh, i will just add a text layer and i will just add it's not broken like this and i will scale it down and place it right here mm, like this here and i will just select this layer go to fonts and i will add a i will add this one it's looking cool from here it starts so i will just add it here now i will just go and add a position keyframe like this and at the start value it will be coming from here and like here it will go like this at the start i will got double 
so i will bring it here and from here it will be um, something like this and for the same opacity will be 100 and at the start opacity will be zero so it will give us this animation if we want we can just bring these and look as you can see uh, we will bring this here and the opacity will be unlike this I will just click those two and select ease in mm, like this you can just simply bring these down here mm, like this so you can do the same with that for the next frame it moves up mm, like this and then no opacity so we how we can create that I will just select all these except the background layer and nest them and here I will add position keyframe move a few frames then bring these upward like this then select both press right click and then ease in so our full animation will be looking like this like this now we can also go to graphs select this graph move this down and select like this so it will be fast at the start and then slow at the end so our whole animation is looking like this now we need to bring in this same um, right here and i will just scale it down something like this now we, you can type in the text and animate them but i will show you how you can create this animation right here the whole animation this one so first i need to go to effects and apply a tint effect to this layer uh, right here i will make it big then create its copy like this now i will just go to mask and add this pen tool i will select this one and i will create a random mask um like this from here now what i can do i will just simply underrate the tint effect from this one so it will be like this and for this layer too i will just select this and like i will create a random mask again something like this and i will just invert it and for this one i will just add a position keyframe at the start move a few frames then bring this upwards or you can just simply now my primary blur is glitching so it is showing the animation wrong so i will just select this temporal is in and you can just see it will be looking like this it's just an error uh, the image gets bigger so we need to worry about this uh, lure will be good now we need to create the all uh, we need to create this for all the layers and for this one the line we will just go to google and search for line and you can just copy this line download it and just place it here like this one and it will be just okay with then just type in text and show it will really be pretty so make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like this and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye